Introduction The sales department on cruise ships is one of the most important sectors of the cruise industry. It is responsible for managing and selling products and services offered on board, from shore excursions to special dinners and duty-free shop products. The sales department is an essential part of the guest experience on board a cruise ship, as it offers passengers the opportunity to personalize their trip with extra services and exclusive products. Sales team members are responsible for ensuring guests are aware of all available offers and are encouraged to take advantage of them. In addition to managing sales, the sales department must also maintain accurate records of all products and services sold on board the ship, as well as manage inventory and provide regular reports to management on sales performance. To work in the sales department on a cruise ship, excellent sales and communication skills are required, as well as the ability to work as part of a team in a fast-paced environment. Additionally, it is important to have basic computer knowledge and be able to quickly learn the sales systems used on board the ship. Sales team members should be friendly, have a good appearance, and interpersonal skills to relate to guests and provide exceptional customer service. They should also be available to work flexible schedules, including night shifts and weekends. The success of the sales department is critical to the overall success of the cruise ship. An effective sales team can increase onboard revenues and ensure guests have a memorable experience. On the other hand, an ineffective sales team can lead to low sales, customer dissatisfaction, and even profit reduction. In summary, the sales department on a cruise ship is a crucial sector that requires sales, communication, and customer service skills. If you are looking to work on a cruise ship, it is important to be aware of the importance of the sales department and be prepared to face the challenges and opportunities offered by this area. What are the necessary characteristics to work in the sales department? Working in the sales department on a cruise ship requires excellent sales and communication skills, the ability to work as a team in a fast-paced environment, and good appearance. In addition, it is important to have basic computer knowledge, be available to work flexible hours, and be fluent in other languages. Organization, the ability to work under pressure and a positive attitude are also essential characteristics to stand out in this crucial sector of the cruise industry. To work in the sales department on a cruise ship, it is necessary to have some important characteristics, such as Sales skills It's essential to have sales skills, including knowledge of sales techniques and the ability to persuade customers to make purchases. Excellent communication. It's important to have excellent communication skills, both verbal and written, to communicate with passengers and team members. Teamwork ability. Teamwork is essential in the sales department, so it's important to be able to work together with other team members. Computer knowledge. Having basic computer knowledge and being able to quickly learn the sales systems used on board the ship is important. Ability to work under pressure. The work environment on a cruise ship can be intense, with many demands and challenges, so it's important to have the ability to work under pressure and with tight deadlines. Flexibility. Sales team members must be available to work flexible hours, including night shifts and weekends. Good appearance. Sales team members must have a good appearance, with a professional and clean image. Interpersonal skills. It's important to have interpersonal skills to relate to guests and offer exceptional customer service. Motivation and commitment. It's necessary to be motivated and committed to achieving sales goals and providing excellent service to passengers. Proactivity. It's important to be proactive and identify sales opportunities, 
creating new ways to offer products and services to passengers. Destination knowledge. Having knowledge of the destination the ship is sailing to can be a big advantage for sales team members, as it allows them to provide useful information to passengers about local activities, sightseeing, and cultural events. Flexibility. Working on a cruise ship means constantly being on the move, facing different situations, and dealing with a wide variety of people. Therefore, it's important to be flexible and adaptable to changes. Negotiation skills. To be successful in the sales department, it's important to have negotiation skills to convince passengers to purchase additional products and services. It's important to know how to argue and persuade without pressuring the customer to do something they don't want to do. Organization. As the sales department is responsible for managing and keeping accurate records of all onboard sales, it's important to have organizational skills to ensure that everything is recorded and tracked, and nothing is forgotten. Ability to work under pressure. Working in the sales department on a cruise ship can be quite stressful, especially during peak periods such as holidays or when the ship is crowded. Therefore, it's important to have the ability to work under pressure and remain calm in difficult situations. Fluency in other languages, as cruise ships welcome passengers from different countries and cultures, it's an advantage to have skills in other languages besides English. This allows for more effective communication with customers and a better understanding of their needs and desires. Positive Attitude Finally, a positive attitude is essential for working in the sales department of a cruise ship. Team members should be friendly, helpful, and have a pleasant demeanor, even in complicated situations. A positive attitude is crucial to providing an excellent customer experience and contributing to the overall success of the cruise ship. In summary, to work in the sales department on a cruise ship, it is necessary to have sales skills, excellent communication skills, teamwork abilities, basic knowledge of computer technology, the ability to work under pressure, flexibility, a professional appearance, interpersonal skills, motivation, and commitment. How do I get started working? Working on a cruise ship is challenging with irregular schedules and long working hours in a bustling environment. As a member of the sales team, you will be selling products and services to passengers, providing destination information, and catering to passenger demands. Excellent interpersonal skills, teamwork, and motivation are crucial to achieving sales targets. Being proactive in identifying sales opportunities and having negotiation skills are essential, as well as maintaining a positive attitude under pressure. Working on a cruise ship is an exciting career for those willing to take on these challenges. To start working in the sales department of a cruise ship, it is important to follow a few steps. Check if you meet the requirements before applying for a job. Make sure you meet the necessary requirements to work on board a cruise ship. This may include minimum age, fluency in English and other languages, sales experience, and other specific skills. Research cruise companies. There are several cruise companies worldwide, each with its own policies and hiring requirements. Research the companies that interest you the most and check for available positions on their career websites. Prepare your resume and cover letter. Make sure your resume is up to date and highlighting your sales and customer service skills. The cover letter should be customized for each company and highlight your experience and motivation to work on board. Submit your application. Submit your application for the positions that match your skills and experience. Make sure to follow all application instructions and include all requested documents. Prepare for the interview. If selected for an interview, 
make sure to research the company and position, prepare to answer common interview questions, and highlight your sales and customer service skills and experience. Complete hiring requirements. If offered a job, you will need to complete hiring requirements such as medical exams and background checks. Training. Before boarding, you will undergo training to learn about the company's policies and procedures, as well as specific sales techniques for the ship. Research recruitment agencies. Many recruitment agencies offer hiring services for the cruise industry. You can search for these companies online and submit your application directly to them. Attend job fairs. Many cruise companies attend job fairs worldwide. These fairs are a great way to meet cruise companies in person and speak with recruiters. Contact cruise companies directly. Some cruise companies have career sections on their websites where you can submit your application directly to the company. Search for positions on job websites. There are many job websites that list job opportunities on cruise ships. You can search these sites to find sales department vacancies. Contact local employment agencies. Some local employment agencies work with cruise companies and can help you find jobs on cruise ships. It's a good idea to contact these agencies and ask about available opportunities. Generally, starting to work in the sales department of a cruise ship requires specific skills, experience in sales and customer service, as well as a positive attitude and willingness to work in a challenging environment. Salary and Benefits The sales department of a cruise ship usually offers competitive salaries and benefits to its employees. The compensations depend on the position and experience, but on average, a sales representative can earn between $1,200 to $2,500 per month, while a sales manager can earn between $2,500 to $4,500 per month. Additionally, many cruise companies offer benefits such as onboard accommodation and meals, medical and dental assistance, paid vacations, life insurance, among others. These benefits vary from company to company and position to position. However, it's important to remember that working on a cruise ship can also involve long working hours and work on holidays and weekends. It's important to be aware of these requirements before accepting a job on a cruise ship. Certainly, here are some examples and topics related to salaries and benefits for the sales department on a cruise ship. Base salary. The base salary for a sales associate on a cruise ship typically ranges from $1,200 to $2,500 per month depending on experience and qualifications. Commission. Sales associates may also earn commissions based on the products and services they sell. Commission rates vary, but can range from 2% to 10% of the total sale. Tips. In addition to base salary and commission, salespeople may also receive tips from passengers. Tips can add an additional $100 to $300 per month to their earnings. Accommodation and meals. Sales associates typically receive accommodation and meals while working on the ship. This means they don't need to pay rent or for food, which can save thousands of dollars in living expenses. Health insurance. Most cruise lines offer health insurance to their employees, including sales associates. This may include coverage for medical, dental, and vision care. Retirement Savings Plan Many cruise lines also offer a retirement savings plan or pension plan for their employees. Sales associates may be eligible to participate in these plans after a certain period of time working for the company. Travel benefits. One of the biggest perks of working on a cruise ship is the opportunity to travel to different parts of the world. 
Sales associates may take advantage of free or discounted travel benefits to explore the ports of call during their free time. Training and Development Sales associates may receive training and development opportunities while working on a cruise ship. This may include product and sales training, as well as language and cultural training to better communicate with passengers from around the world. I hope these examples and topics are helpful in providing more information about salaries and benefits for the sales department of a cruise ship. Is language important? Yes, language is extremely important for working in the sales department for cruise ships, as passengers and crew members may come from different countries and speak different languages. It is essential to have communication skills in different languages to meet the needs of passengers and ensure that the sale of products and services is effective. Additionally, Having knowledge about different cultures can be useful in understanding the preferences and needs of passengers, thereby improving the chances of success in sales work. Many cruise companies require their employees to have intermediate to advanced knowledge of English, as well as other languages, depending on the cruise routes and destinations visited. In addition to English, knowledge of other languages such as Spanish, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, and Mandarin, among others, may be required depending on the cruise routes and countries visited. Having skills in multiple languages can be a great asset in the sales department of a cruise ship, as it allows for better communication and customer service as well as improving the chances of making sales in non-English speaking markets. However, it is important to remember that language requirements vary from company to company and position to position. To work in the onboard sales department of a cruise ship, it is usually necessary to have the following documents. To work in the sales department aboard a cruise ship, you will need to have the following documents. Valid Passport It is mandatory to have a valid passport to work aboard a cruise ship since you will be sailing in international waters. Work Visa Depending on the country in which the ship is registered and the countries it will visit during the cruise, it may be necessary to obtain a work visa to work aboard. You should check with the cruise company or local authorities to know the specific requirements. Vaccines Yes, it is common for employees working aboard cruise ships to have to present proof of vaccination for some infectious diseases such as yellow fever, hepatitis A and B, measles, mumps, and rubella, depending on the route and countries that the ship will visit. In addition, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Many cruise companies are requiring their employees to be vaccinated against the virus or present proof of a recent negative test. Vaccination policies vary according to the cruise company and may change over time, so it is important to check the updated information directly with the company before applying for a position in the sales department. STCW Certificate It is not common for the possession of the STCW, International Convention on Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers, Certificate to be required to work in the sales department aboard a cruise ship since this certificate is more aimed at professionals working in safety and ship operations-related roles, such as sailors, navigation and machinery officers, among others. However, as mentioned earlier, many cruise companies have specific requirements for each position, so it is important to check with the cruise company if any type of certification or additional training is required to work in the sales department aboard the ship. Training Certificate Many cruise companies encourage their employees to have a specific training certificate to work in different onboard departments, including the sales department. Check with the cruise company what the necessary training certificates are. Updated resume to apply for a position in the sales department. 
you will need to submit an updated resume that highlights your sales and customer service experience. Cover letter in addition to the resume, it is common for cruise companies to request a cover letter that describes your professional experience and relevant skills. Certificates and diplomas If you have relevant certificates or diplomas for working in the sales department, it may be helpful to include them in your application. This may include certificates of sales courses, customer service training, among others. Previous sales experience If you have worked in sales before, especially in a retail or tourism environment, this can be a positive point in your application. Be sure to highlight your relevant experience in your resume and cover letter. Professional references Cruise companies may request professional references from previous employers. Make sure to have updated contact information for at least two references who can speak about your sales and customer service skills. How should my CV be presented? The presentation of the resume to work in the sales department of a cruise ship should be professional and well-structured, highlighting your relevant skills and experiences. Some tips for creating an effective resume include Layout and format. Use a simple and clean layout, preferably in Word or PDF format. Ensure that the font and text size are legible. Personal information. Include your personal information, such as full name, address, phone, email, and links to your professional social media, such as LinkedIn. Objective. Include a clear and concise objective at the beginning of your resume. Highlighting your interest in working in the sales department of a cruise ship and your motivation for the position. Professional experience. Include your most relevant and recent professional experience, focusing on your sales and customer service skills. Highlight specific responsibilities and achievements in each role that demonstrate your performance and success in sales. Education and certifications. List your education and any relevant certification or training you have. Be sure to include your academic background, sales, or customer service courses you have completed, as well as any certifications you may have. Skills and qualifications. Highlight your relevant skills and qualifications for the position of onboard cruise ship sales, such as fluency in other languages, technology knowledge, or negotiation skills. References Include at least two professional references who can attest to your sales and customer service skills and experience. Ensure that the contact information is up to date. Remember to carefully review your resume for grammar and spelling errors before submitting it to cruise companies. A well-written and presented resume can increase your chances of being selected for an interview to work in the sales department of a cruise ship. Example of how a good CV should be written Here is an example of a resume for working in the sales department on board a cruise ship. Full name Address Phone Email Objective a brief statement that describes what you are seeking in a job, your relevant experience, and your skills. Summary of Qualifications A brief list of your top skills, knowledge, and achievements relevant to the job. Professional Experience In this section, list your previous work experience in reverse chronological order, starting with the most recent experience. Include the company name, position, employment period, and main responsibilities and achievements. Education List your most recent academic background first, including the name of the institution, area of study, degree obtained, and date of completion. Skills List your top relevant skills for the job, such as communication, sales, customer service, languages, among others. References
list the name, position, and updated contact information for at least two professional references. Additional tips Keep the resume clear, concise, and easy to read using standard font and font sizes. Personalize the resume for each specific job you are applying for, highlighting the most relevant skills and experiences. Use action verbs to describe your achievements and responsibilities in your previous jobs. Carefully proofread the resume for grammatical and spelling errors, and have someone else review it as well. Use relevant keywords for the job, as many companies use applicant tracking programs to select resumes. How should the cover letter be made? The ex-employer introduction letter is a form of professional recommendation that can help increase your chances of getting a job in another company. Below are some tips on how this letter should be structured. Start the letter with a professional header, including the company logo and contact information. Address the letter to the company or specific person who will receive your application. In the introduction, mention your name and previous position in the company. Then, explain the reason why you are writing the letter, i.e., to recommend yourself for a sales position on a cruise ship. Describe your key skills and accomplishments in the previous company, highlighting those that are relevant to the sales position on a cruise ship. For example, if you had sales and customer service experience in a tourism or hospitality environment, that may be especially relevant. Include information about your performance and behavior in the previous company, such as your work ethics, punctuality, dedication, and motivation. End the letter with a strong and positive statement of support for your candidacy. For example, you may say that you have confidence in your skills and believe that you would be an excellent choice for the sales department on a cruise ship. Conclude the letter with a thank you for their consideration and include your contacts so that they can be contacted if they have any questions or need more information. Remember that the ex-employer introduction letter should be written in a professional and respectful manner, highlighting your relevant skills and achievements for the job at hand, but without exaggeration or misleading information. Body of the Letter Dear Sir Slash Madam I would like to introduce Mr. Slash Ms., your full name, a former employee of our company, as a candidate for the position of desired position, in the sales department of a cruise ship. During their time with us, your name demonstrated exceptional skills in sales and customer service, always achieving targets and exceeding expectations. Their ability to communicate clearly and effectively with customers, as well as their successful track record in closing deals, makes them an ideal candidate for a sales position aboard a cruise ship. Furthermore, your name has an extremely professional and committed work ethic, which makes them a valuable contributor in any work environment. We are confident that they will be an excellent addition to your sales team. Thank you in advance for your consideration, and we are available to provide additional information if needed. Sincerely, your name, your previous position in the company, live and online interview, tips for live interview. Here are some tips to help you prepare for a live interview to work in the sales department on a cruise ship. Research the company and position. Before the interview, research the company and position to better understand what the company expects and how your skills fit the job. Dress appropriately. Make sure to dress professionally for the interview, taking into account the environment of the cruise ship. Prepare answers to common questions. Anticipate common questions that may be asked during the interview and prepare concise and relevant answers. Show enthusiasm and passion. 
demonstrate enthusiasm for the opportunity to work on a cruise ship and show your passion for the travel and tourism industry. Be confident and positive. Demonstrate confidence in your skills and experience, as well as a positive and proactive attitude. Highlight your sales skills. As the position is for the sales department, make sure to highlight your sales skills and how you can help increase sales on board the cruise ship. Demonstrate communication skills. Demonstrate strong communication skills and show how you can effectively communicate with customers on board the cruise ship. Show your ability to work in a team. Show how you live an online interview. Tips for an online interview. Here are some tips to help you prepare for an online interview for the sales department on a cruise ship. Test your internet connection. Make sure you have a stable and fast internet connection so the interview can go smoothly without interruptions. Choose a quiet location. Choose a quiet location with no distractions for the interview, with adequate lighting and a neutral background. Prepare in advance. Check that your device is working properly and charged, and prepare your interview materials in advance. Dress appropriately. Dress professionally for the interview, even if you are participating remotely. Be punctual. Log into the online interview platform in advance to test the audio and camera and be ready for the interview at the scheduled time. Maintain eye contact. Maintain eye contact with the interviewer by looking directly at the camera and not at the screen during the interview. Show enthusiasm and passion. Demonstrate enthusiasm for the opportunity to work on a cruise ship and show your passion for the travel and tourism industry. Be confident and positive. Demonstrate confidence in your skills and experience, as well as a positive and proactive attitude. Ask relevant questions. Show interest in the position and the company by asking relevant questions about the position, the challenges you may face on board the cruise ship and the opportunities for growth within the company. Thank the interviewer. At the end of the interview, thank the interviewer for the opportunity and send a follow-up thank you email to reiterate your interest in the position. What are the most common live and online interview questions? The most common questions for a live or online interview to work in the sales department on a cruise ship may include what motivated you to apply for this position on a cruise ship? Do you have sales experience? If so, describe your experience. How do you handle rejections during the sales process? How do you stay motivated to achieve your sales goals? Are you comfortable working in a multicultural environment and dealing with clients from different countries and cultures? Have you worked in a team environment before? How did you contribute to the team's success? Do you have language skills other than English? How would you deal with a dissatisfied customer? How would you deal with a customer who does not speak English or has difficulty communicating? What is your approach to establishing long-term relationships with customers? It's important to remember that the questions may vary depending on the cruise company and the interviewer. Additionally, it's always a good idea to research the company and position before the interview to be better prepared for specific questions that may be asked. What are the common questions and answers for live and online interviews in English? Questions and answers vary depending on the company and interviewer but some common questions and possible answers include Question, what motivated you to apply for this position on a cruise ship? Answer, I have always been passionate about travel and sales, so this position in a dynamic and multicultural environment seemed like a great opportunity for me to combine my skills and interests. Question, do you have sales experience? If so, Describe your experience. Answer, yes, I have sales experience in various sectors, including retail, hospitality, 
and financial services. I have learned to approach customers tactfully and to understand their needs, which has helped me to achieve my sales goals in all of these sectors. Question, how do you handle rejections during the sales process? Answer, I understand that rejections are part of the sales process and I try to learn from each one. I try to understand why the customer is not interested and look for other options that may meet their needs. Question, how do you stay motivated to achieve your sales goals? Answer, I stay motivated by keeping my focus on my goals and celebrating small victories along the way. I also try to challenge myself daily to improve my sales skills. Question, are you comfortable working in a multicultural environment and dealing with clients from different countries and cultures? Answer, yes, I am very comfortable working in a multicultural environment. I have strong interpersonal skills and believe that I can communicate effectively with clients from different backgrounds and cultures. Question, have you worked in a team environment before? How did you contribute to the team's success? Answer, yes, I have worked in various teams before. I believe in collaboration and open and regular communication. I make a point of helping team members by offering help and feedback whenever possible. Question, do you have skills in languages other than English? Answer, yes, I speak Spanish fluently and also have basic knowledge of French and Italian. Question, how would you deal with an unhappy customer? Answer, I would try to understand the cause of the customer's dissatisfaction and seek to resolve it in the best possible way. If necessary, I would seek the help of my team members or a supervisor. Question, how would you deal with a customer who does not speak English or has difficulty communicating? Answer, I would try to communicate with them on a basic level using simple language and gestures. If necessary, I would seek help from a team member who speaks the customer's language. Question, what is your approach to establishing lasting relationships with customers? Answer, my approach to establishing lasting relationships with customers is based on honesty, empathy, and building trust. I make a point of understanding the customer's needs and desires and offering solutions that help them achieve their goals. Question, how would you deal with a customer who is not satisfied with the price of a product or service? Answer, I would try to understand the customer's concerns about the price and then offer alternatives or promotions that may make the offer more appealing to them. I could also present the additional benefits they would receive by choosing this offer over others. Question, are you an aggressive or more discreet salesperson in your sales approach? Answer, I am a discreet salesperson. I believe in listening to the customer's needs and providing suitable solutions for them. I do not like to pressure customers to make a purchase and prefer to let them decide on their own. Question, how do you evaluate success in sales? Answer, I evaluate success in sales by customer satisfaction and my ability to meet their needs. I also consider the number of sales I make and the value of the sales. Question, how do you evaluate success in sales? Answer, I evaluate success in sales based on customer satisfaction and my ability to meet their needs. I also consider the number of sales I make and the value of those sales. Question, how do you prepare for a sales presentation? Answer, I prepare by researching the product or service I will be selling and potential customers. I also practice my presentation multiple times to ensure that I am confident and comfortable with the content. Question, how do you manage your time during a busy workday? Answer, 
I prioritize my tasks and make sure that I am dedicating enough time to each one. I also take regular breaks to recharge my energy and ensure that I am focused and alert throughout the day. These questions and answers are suitable for those who have already worked on board and want to apply for the same area, but in another company. S. The recruiter will assess your level of confidence and speed in handling real-life situations that the interviewee experienced while working in the sales department on a cruise ship. Let's proceed to the questions and examples of answers. What skills do you believe you acquired while working on board that will be useful for the sales position on a cruise ship? The ability to deal with people of different nationalities, adapt to dynamic environments, and work in a team. How would you handle situations of conflict with passengers during sales? By maintaining composure and courtesy, trying to understand the passengers' needs and expectations, and seeking solutions to meet their demands. Do you have experience in sales? How do you think your previous experience can help you succeed in this position? Yes, I have experience in sales and customer service, and I believe my persuasion skills and customer knowledge will help me efficiently offer the products and services on board. How do you handle pressure and work in a fast-paced environment? I try to maintain composure and organization, prioritize tasks, and work efficiently to achieve set goals. Do you have knowledge of the products and services that are offered on board a cruise ship? How will you stay updated on this information? Yes, I have knowledge of onboard products and services, and I will stay updated through training offered by the company and by liaising with the departments that offer these products and services. How would you deal with passengers who are dissatisfied with the products or services they acquired? I would try to understand the reason for the passenger's dissatisfaction and seek a solution to the problem. If necessary, I would contact the department responsible for the product or service in question to resolve the situation. How would you approach passengers during sales? What would be your sales strategy? I would approach passengers courteously and friendly presenting the products and services clearly and objectively. My sales strategy would focus on identifying the passenger's needs and offering the products and services that meet those needs. Have you dealt with emergency situations on board a ship? How did you act? Yes, I have dealt with emergency situations on board. I acted quickly and efficiently following the safety procedures on board. How would you handle a lack of internet connection or communication problems with the company? I would try to solve the problem quickly and efficiently with the available resources on board. If necessary, I would seek help from the responsible department or the company's technical support team. How would you adapt to living in a restricted and shared environment with other people during the working period? I am already accustomed to living in shared environments and adapt easily. In addition, I respect the rules and regulations on board and try to maintain a harmonious living environment. How would you deal with missing your family and friends during the time you worked on board? I would deal with missing them by maintaining regular contact with my family and friends through calls, messages, and video calls whenever possible. Additionally, I would try to make new friends on board to make the environment more welcoming. How do you deal with cultural diversity on board, and what measures do you take to avoid cultural conflicts? I deal with cultural diversity with respect and tolerance, seeking to understand and learn from the different cultures on board. Additionally, I take measures to avoid cultural conflicts, such as studying the traditions and customs of different nationalities on board and avoiding behaviors or comments that may be offensive. 
How do you stay motivated during long periods of work on board? I stay motivated by setting personal and professional goals, seeking opportunities for learning and growth, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, staying in touch with family and friends, and trying to maintain a positive attitude. How would you prepare for a sales position on a cruise ship? I would prepare by studying and getting to know the products and services on board, learning the sales techniques used by the company, and training interpersonal and communication skills. What are your expectations for this position and how do you think you can contribute to the success of the company? My expectations are to contribute to the success of the company by providing high-quality sales service, increasing sales, and effectively enhancing the passenger experience on board. I believe that my experience working in a team, my knowledge in sales, and my customer service skills will help me achieve these goals. Communication on board What are the most useful phrases to use? Here are some useful phrases that a sales department on a cruise ship can use on a daily basis. Good morning, can I help you with anything today? Have you tried our products slash services before? We have a special promotion for safety today, would you like to know more? Are you looking for something specific or can I show you our most popular products? We offer installment payment options. Would you like to know more about that? Do you have any questions about the product slash service that I can answer? Would you like to try before you buy? Are you already a loyal customer of ours? We have some special discounts for loyal customers. Can I show you our options for luxury products slash services? Would you like to see our options for combined packages? We have an exclusive offer for members of our loyalty program. Would you like to participate? I can offer you a demonstration of how to use our product slash service. Would you like that? We have an easy return policy, so if you don't like the product slash service, we guarantee your money back. We have a fast delivery option. Would you like to use it? If you buy now, you can take advantage of our special discount today. Remember that these phrases are just a starting point and can be adapted to the specific needs and situations of the company and the customer. Conclusion If you want to pursue a career in the sales department for cruise ships, there are some essential skills and qualifications to succeed. First, it's important to have a good knowledge of sales and marketing as well as strong interpersonal skills to communicate with customers and colleagues. Additionally, it's important to have the ability to work in a dynamic and often stressful environment, with long hours and a variable work schedule. Being able to speak multiple languages is a bonus, as cruise ships welcome travelers from all over the world. However, if you're willing to work hard and are committed to providing excellent customer service, the sales department for cruise ships can be a rewarding and challenging career. With the experience and skills gained in this role, you can open up a variety of career opportunities throughout the cruise and tourism industry.